Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about what it was like when I had overgrowth of microbes producing hydrogen sulfide gas, how I got rid of it for myself, and how I continue to get rid of the hydrogen sulfide in clients that I work with. Um, so I did have overgrowth of disulfovibrio and Bilophila wadsworthia, which are two microbes that produce hydrogen sulfide gas. Um, there are plenty of other microbes that also do this. Um, and I mean, to an extent, the body does need hydrogen sulfide, so it's not a completely negative thing. It's just uh, about the quantity and when those microbes become overgrown that it becomes an issue. Uh, so hydrogen sulfide in excess is toxic to the cells of the intestines. And what did that feel like? To me, it felt like constant diarrhea, uh, poor detox pathways, uh, PMS, and sulfurous gas, which was <laughs> pretty embarrassing. Um, so it did in the end take me about eight months start to finish to reduce those microbes and get rid of the hydrogen sulfide gas. And what I did was I addressed root causes that were impacting motility. I addressed sulfur pathways and I addressed the microbes specifically. So the two microbes here, this is like classic hydrogen sulfide, disulfovibrio and bilophila. Um, but those, like I mentioned, aren't the only microbes that can produce this gas. So um, in your case, maybe you have Prevotella producing the gas or Klebsiella or H. pylori. And you want to use a targeted approach to those specific microbes. So there are different herbs, prebiotics, and nutraceuticals that can all um, reduce those microbes. And you wouldn't use the same thing uh, on Prevotella that you would use for disulfovibrio. And you may even adjust the, the diet accordingly as well. Uh, so I hope that provides you some motivation. You don't need to use antibiotics to get rid of these microbes. You can use um, a targeted approach with diet, supplements, herbs, etc. All right, bye for now.